How's it going, people? Guess it's been a little while. It's um, January 27th, according to uh, my little watch. Don't know when I'll be putting this up. No internet, except what I can find. Uh-oh. Uh 25 is dry, but relatively short. Let's go ahead and pour us a chub. I may have to drink a second chapter, that's all. I mean, read a second chapter. <laughs> Here I am drinking a book. <laughs> and it's a holy book that doesn't hold water. <laughs> all right. Uh, you have to excuse me, I'm a little out of it this today. I've been out of it for a little while, actually. It's this damn seasonal of affective disorder. Uh, what I'd give for a nice sunny day and a long walk. Okay, but I'll have to settle for this. And this is okay, too. Malachi's words continued. Oh, that's right. We're quoting Malachi, or at least expounding upon him. Elijah and his mission. The great and dreadful day of the Lord. Compare Malachi 4. Or not. 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Two. But unto you that fear my name, shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings. Has he got water wings or something, you know, so he can scuttle across the water without sinking? <laughs> He's got healing in his water wings. <laughs> in some kind of wings that he has. We all know Jesus had wings, right? All right. Yeah, so that's convincing right there. Because he has healing in his wings. And ye shall go forth and grow up as calves in the stall. Calves in the stall. Isn't that like veal? You know, where they like lock them up in a stall and they can't move and they... Pretty horrible. <laughs> yeah, veal. Yeah, we're going to grow up like veal without the parmesan. Three. And ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts. What's up with this Lord of hosts? I mean, it's God of the world, right? And then suddenly it's the leader of many. Host, a host is many. It's not all, it's just many. A little different. What's up with that? Just switching up the, the language for a while, make it sound all JC-like. For remember ye the law of Moses, my servant, which I commanded unto him in Horeb, Horeb, for all Israel with the statutes and judgments. And Horeb is uh, the mountain that God came from with a burning bush and all that near Midia, supposedly, I guess. Horeb or Sinai, depending on if you got a priestly accretion or a, a Jehovah's or a, I don't know, a Lohimus. I don't know, I forgot. I read I read up on all that and then it all it's all kind of evaporated. That chime in, remind me. Or whatever. Or you could just remind me that you think I'm an idiot. No more PMs doing that, okay? 
I will block your ass for that. You want to insult me? Do it in the comment section so everybody can see it. Come on, if you want to insult me, you want everyone to see it anyway. Yeah. All right. Five. Behold, I will send you Elijah, the prophet. The prophet um, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. I'm just trying to figure out how that related to Moses and Mount Hora, but uh, then again, Elijah, he was like hiding from uh, um, Bathsheba's uh, man up there, right? He found the mountain of Moses. <laughs> Sorry, wrong book. Uh, I think I talked about that in a video about the flaming chariot and stuff on my other channel. <sighs> the great dreadful, dreadful day of the Lord. Six. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children to their fathers. Lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Okay. Wow. That must have had some other meanings that I didn't get, so let me know. 26. The Savior expounds all things from the beginning. Marvels spoken by the mouths of babes. The work of the disciples. 1. And now, and finally, it came to pass. That, when Jesus had told these things, he expounded them unto the multitude, and he did expound all things unto them, both great and small. Two, and he saith, These scriptures, which ye had not with you, the Father commanded that I should give unto you. Uh, for it was wisdom in him that they should be given unto future generations. Three. And he did expound all things, even from the beginning, until the time that he should come in his glory. Even all things which should come upon the face of the earth, even until the elements should melt with fervent heat, and the earth should be wrapped together as a scroll, and the heavens and the earth should pass away. That's some scary shit, I guess. For, and even... And unto the great and last day, the crapture, <laughs> which keeps not happening. And I think it will continue to not happen. <laughs> That's my prediction. When all people and all kindreds and all nations and tongues shall stand before God to be judged of their works, whither they be good or whither they be evil. Five. If they be good to the resurrection of the everlasting of everlasting life. How nice. And if they be evil to the resurrection of damnation being on a parallel the one on the one hand and the other on the other according to the mercy and the justice and the holiness which is in Christ 
who was before the world began. Six. And now, there cannot be written in this book even a hundredth part of the things which Jesus did truly teach unto the people. Seven. But, behold, the plates of Nephi do contain the more part of the things which he taught the people. Good enough. Eight. And these things have I written, which are a lesser part of the things which he taught uh, the people. And I have written them to the intent that they may be brought again unto this people from the Gentiles, who will have the Book of Mormon, who will eventually start pestering the Jews and anyone else that stands still and, or answers their door. Ah. According to the words which Jesus, Jesus hath spoken. Nine, and when they shall have received this, which is expedient that they should have first to try their faith, he's tested them. More people will fail that way. That's what he wants. He's sifting. Try their faith. And if it shall so be that they shall believe these things, then shall the greater things be made manifest unto them. Ten. And if so be that, if it so be that they will not believe these things, then great, wait, then shall the greater things be withheld from them unto their condemnation. Eleven. Behold, I was about to write them all which was engraven upon the plates of Nephi, but the Lord forbade it, saying, I will try the faith of my people. He's a prick, ain't he? Twelve. Therefore, I, Mormon, do write the things which have been commanded me of the Lord. And now I, Mormon, in case you forgot, even though it's the same fucking verse, make an end of my sayings and proceed to write the things which have been commanded me. Yeah, shut the fuck up already and tell us the story. I'm already get tired of your ass. Thirteen. Therefore, I would that ye should behold that the Lord truly did teach the people for the space of three days. And after that he did show himself unto them oft. And did break bread oft, and bless it, and give it unto them. Fourteen. And it came to pass... that he did teach and minister unto the children of the multitude of whom hath been spoken. And he did loose their tongues, these little kids. And they did speak unto their fathers great and marvelous things and even greater than he had revealed unto the people. And they loosed their tongues that they could, and, and he loosed their tongues that they could utter. We already got that. So little kids are talking, and it's fucking 
fucking profound. I'd like to see that. Said I gotta take their word. <coughs> Fifteen. And it came to pass. That after he had ascended into heaven, he really did. It says so right here, so you gotta believe it. The second time that he showed himself unto them, but that didn't count. He still, the next time he comes is the second coming. All those other times don't count for some reason. I guess because they weren't involving everybody on the planet. That oh. he showed himself unto them and had gone unto the Father after having healed all their sick, the ones that were lucky enough to be in the vicinity and could benefit from that. The rest have just got to enjoy the story of how it really happened, really. Yeah, look, I, I was an amputee, but look. <laughs> Jesus heals amputees, doesn't he? And they're lame, and open the eyes of their blind, and unstopped the ears of the deaf, because their ears are stopped up. <laughs> and even had done all manner of cures among them. Well, you could have said he did all manner of cures among them, and saved a lot of gold right there. I guess he also restored or regenerated amputees, and that's nice. That was sweet of him. All right. You just weren't lucky enough to be around when it happened. And raised a man from the dead. Okay. Was that Nephi's brother? Is that it? That must have been Nephi's brother. It's rather unclear. Sounds like... I was thinking it was Nephi did it. Now I'm thinking, all right, JC did it. Of course! <sighs> and had shown forth his power unto them, and had ascended unto the Father. And that's it for him, I guess. Sixteen. Behold! It came to pass... Yeah. On the morrow that the multitude gathered themselves together, and they both saw and heard these children, those ones that, who had their mouths open, their tongues loosed so they could utter, utterly true. Yea, even babes did open their mouths and utter marvelous things. It'd be marvelous if a baby talked at all. Are you sure there wasn't some ventriloquists around or something? Ugh. And the things which they did utter were forbidden that they should not any man... There, there should not any man write them. So, because of iniquity, we're getting less evidence. And there isn't really any anyway, but less story. I wanted to hear what the baby said. You guys are dicks. Come on, that would have been funny. I mean, I love it when Jesus bitches out the Pharisees as a baby, you know, coming back and in the Quran, you know, there's no Joseph, mom's alone, you know. Comes into town, they're going, You whore! You came from good parents, what the fuck? And she goes, All right, <laughs> you asked for it. Go ahead, baby JC. Bitch him out. And he did. See, that would have been cool, but we don't get that because it's forbidden. 
17. And it came to pass. Go. Uh, that the disciples whom Jesus had chosen from that time forth to baptize and to teach as many as did come unto them and as many as were baptized in the name of Jesus were filled with the Holy Ghost. 18. And many of them saw and heard unspeakable things. But they, apparently they were good. Huh? Which are not lawful to be written. They were unspeakable. But what was this telepathy or some shit? Whale sonar? <laughs> what the fuck? Sign language? 18. And many of them saw and heard. Wait, I read that already. Sorry. 19. And they taught and did minister one to another. And then it was nap time and they had to go to bed because they're little babies. Just kidding. <clears throat> that, I wasn't kidding about that part. And they had all things common among them. Every man dealing justly one with another. So no more about the talking babies, huh? Yeah. That would have been a movie of the week. At least a, a National Enquirer headline. 20. And it came to pass. The final time. That they did do all things even as Jesus had commanded them. 21. And they who were baptized in the name of Jesus were called the Church of Christ. And that's it for 26. And it was fucking fascinating. It's 25 and 26. So. What do you say we do a little DNC? But if you're not down with that, and I definitely understand, it's some pretty dull stuff. If you're not down with that, peace the fuck out. Thanks for getting this far. And have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having also.